Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, off to Fairview Park Hospital. We're here with Dr. Jasper, medical director of ER here. And, Doctor, welcome to the show. Thank I, you. I know you see a lot of people uh, through ER. We know that ER is a very busy place here at Fairview yes. Park Hospital. So, first of all, thank you for, for what you do for our community and helping those in need. Okay, thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. So, we want to talk just a little bit about yourself. Tell us about your background, about your educational background, if you don't okay. mind, Doctor. Well, um, I grew up in Richmond, Virginia. I went to college at Stanford out in California, go Cardinal, mm. um, and I did my medical school training at the University of Chicago, did my residency at the University of Michigan, and I subsequently came to Atlanta as a, a professor at Emory in the Department of Emergency Medicine, mm. and now I've been here at Fairview Park off and on since 2011, so I feel like I'm a home guy now. Yeah. Well, good. It's good to feel that way, and you seem to, uh, I guess, be very busy uh, this time of year. Is it busier this time of year than any other, or does ER just stay busy? Well, it, it stays busy, and one of the things we're seeing in Fairview Park is a lot of growth. So, you know, we welcome everyone. We built a nice new emergency department, and they always say if you build it, they'll come, and they've come. All right, all right. So we'll talk a little bit about the holiday coming up. Of course, the uh, 4th of July, it's great to, to celebrate our country's independence, and it's such a wonderful time for people to get out and enjoy not only grilling with the family around a pool, uh, maybe celebrating with some fireworks, since fireworks are now legal over the past couple of years in the state of Georgia. Many, many more people celebrate with that. So what are some things, what are some issues, what are some warnings maybe to the community that we should be looking for in preventive things? So fireworks, we love them. They're exciting. We love going to concerts and other, you know, venues where they do, you know, fireworks. And I think that kind of points to one important thing. Make sure the biggest thing with fireworks is doing it properly. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to have a fireworks show, you're going to, you know, light them one, make sure you keep the kids safe. Um, they seem really simple. Some of the examples are like the sparkles. People think they look great. Yeah. They don't realize that sparkle actually heats up to as high as like 200 degrees Fahrenheit and can just melt through metal. So you can imagine what it can do with kids. So keep the kids protected. Make sure you have your fun in places that are not going to be flammable. So number one, keep the kids safe. Two, make sure you're in an area that's not going to be flammable. And then the, the real simple thing that a lot of people don't think about, if you're going to do fireworks, have something to put them out with. So if you're just going to have a simple bucket of water, keep a bucket of water handy, and then make sure you're going to have that in case you need it. And then finally, at the end of your fireworks, make sure before you take those, you know, what's left and you put them away in the garbage, you know, soak them with water so that they're not going to be flammable and they won't go into your garbage pail or with your leaves or yeah. something else and cause a fire. Yes, Dr. Jasper, you know, a lot of times people will give that sparkler to the kids and they're just running around with it, running around. They think that's the safest thing, but as you point out, it gets very, very hot. It gets, it gets really hot and can be dangerous. And that reminds me, remember, they, they look, all of your fireworks may look really simple. They may seem really harmless, but remember, never point them and light them at people's faces. Um, always, if you're gonna light something, stay away from it, do not lean over something to light it. And then one of the things that a lot of people will do is they wanna light several of them at the same time. Mm. Bad idea, usually makes you get caught at one of them when it may go off. Yeah. And then never put them inside of a container. That people love the extra sound. Um, but remember, they are explosives, and you put them in a container, you are creating a, a, an explosive device, and the, the metal or whatever you put them in can discharge and hurt people that are nearby. So, Doctor, about things that we may uh, point out to people, injuries that may come in, what are some issues uh, with maybe eyes, ears? Uh... Yeah, if you, if you have a firework go off into your, your face and you get an injury, um, we recommend if, if you can't get to us safely, call 911. Um, but make sure you, you do go and you see your nearest, you know, health care provider, whether it's us at the emergency department here or if you're somewhere else in, in Georgia. But it's really important. What can seem like a really simple problem can end up being a big deal later. You can end up with, you know, losing your sight. 
Um, the other thing is we get a lot, you get the problem where it burns to the hands, and people don't realize you only get one set, right? <laughs> and a burn to your hand can be really disabling for you for your career and the rest of your life. So mm. burns to the hands, burns to the face, all of those things, make sure you you know seek health care and seek uh, medical attention as soon as possible. So, Doctor, I guess you'd recommend maybe some type of uh, eyewear to protect your eyes or maybe something if you're firing off the fireworks, something to protect your ears. Well, well, it's definitely not a bad idea, but remember the first thing is do not attempt to light things where you're leaning over them because they are explosive devices and they can go off in your face. Protective eyewear is great. Um, to remember, these are loud. Most of the fireworks that we enjoy the most are really loud. They they make noise. That's what people actually enjoy. But remember, your ears don't enjoy that later. So protective ear um, wear and eyewear, both you can never go wrong with. All right. So, doctor, you you mentioned uh, prior to going on air a little bit about the the issue of alcohol, and so let's address that now. Uh, probably not smart to have the person who's most inebriated firing off the fireworks. <laughs> so you have two you have really two issues with with alcohol and indulging, and I'm not saying that you should not enjoy your holiday, but drink you know responsibly. One, you're going to be handling something that's dangerous. So if you are intoxicated. You should not be the one with the lighter. So just remember that. This, we think about this when we always talk about having a driver. Well, maybe you should have a lighter and then not be the person that's been drinking. Um, and then, of course, um, there are other behaviors that can go along with being intoxicated that can make a 4th of July really dangerous. And we recommend just drink responsibly, enjoy yourselves, but make sure you're not handling dangerous, you know, materials if you've been drinking heavily. Good advice. And, and uh, doctor, and just looking at it, you, you would think that younger people probably would have more issues. Most injuries would happen to people probably under, what, 20, 25. And probably the younger you get, the more injuries that will happen because you have no fear when you're that age. Well, so. Well, I used to be, so hey, I used to be that age. So we think that, but the, what's interesting, it can be actually bimodal, meaning you can have the young get hurt and you can have the people that are a little older. It's weird. Somewhere in the middle, we, we get a little smarter, and I think we avoid things. Some, of course, when we're younger, we're invincible and we can do no harm. But sometimes it's the older person who's trying to do it for the younger person who actually hasn't you know, use the firework and, you know, maybe decades, and they decide, oh, yeah, I'll show you how to do it, and they've forgotten some of those precautions. So yeah. I tell people across all age groups, you got to exercise the same caution, um, make sure you take the proper steps. Uh, if you If it's something you haven't done in decades, we have new fireworks. Things are bigger and badder. Mm -hmm. So make sure you familiarize yourself with what you're doing before you start doing it. Doctor, in and around the area, if there is a problem, if there is an emergency, someone's injured, they want to rush them uh, to the hospital, they feel like they can bring them in a safe uh, manner and, and not call uh, emergency, not call 911. Or should they call ahead to you or should they just bring them on in? Uh, just bring them on in. I, I never really recommend anyone call ahead because the dynamics can change. One thing we promise and we, we really vow for our patients, we're going to see you as quickly and as safely as possible. So just come on in and we'll do the rest. All right. Thank you, Dr. Jasper, for giving us this great advice and for your service here at Fairview Park Hospital. Thank you.